Touch gloves if you want to, if not, go back to your corners. You heard the crowd erupt. Career against Marco ah. Escudero. Won that one by Major. An educated lead hand. He's very good with the lead hand, but as as uh, his opponent came back and be a bit of a different type of chess match here with the ADTUs against the South way they use their lead hand and backing him up to the ropes here. Minaji's a good ring jockey of Naji Lopez, which I think is very smart. Against Yildo De Pes today here at Probox TV. He's fine. He was able to floor fighters who were taller. Looked good against them. He's using it. Oh, wow. Beautiful body Beautiful shot. Beautiful body shot. That hurt. And the physical pressure with these kind of shots combined with that man, may start to pay dividends. Something's so trying, to, trying to show his poker face, but man, that, those body shots left in round number one, doing the vet. Keeping at a proper distance where he stays protect. Oh, good shot by the yeah. speaking of left hand. Yeah, he, he times it. I don't know if we see it, but it looks like we're going to get to a round number two between these two undefeated fighters. Don't throw punches. See why in round number one. Fights. Every yeah. fight, everybody has an opportunity to do damage, to win rounds. Here we see Sumter, another undefeated guy who's coming. I, gotta, I don't mean this. this is too difficult. Oh, big finish. shot. Yeah, he kind of goes into these little peekable defenses, but he's better with the power shot. Big left hand from the southpaw stance. You know, uh, extend his punches a little. You can see the power of Sumter's shots, man. He does well. Seven KOs in his nine wins. One criticism I would have for Sumter, when he does land a good shot, he doesn't follow up. Kind of goes back, with, goes back to ropes. Allows Najee to kind of dictate for that exchange here. So sometimes we take the lead after landing some shots. It's Najee who's controlling the pace. And that's why he's probably, even though something does some good moments. This is where Najee's numbers number is letting his hands go. He's very it's silent easy. agreement. And it's a lot like, in that fight. No. No. Escudero fought no. to the end. <laughs> Dan's that night. I was a spectator. That was a there open fight. He's, yeah. he's, a, he's a talented guy from down here. Oh. Good shots here by oh. Najee. Numbers again, champ, like you said. Going back to the body. And something trying to punch in between, guys. You know, it seems like Sumter's a little more aware of the power of Nanji. He's taking the play. I've seen the worst. Is that what you tell you guys? Well, I mean, something. me. And then I was all rest of the play. Get a hit. And now Nanji's trying to start to walk him down again. I think he's shot. From Lopez. Because with Nanji Lopez, he lands the uppercut. And what does he do? He follows up and walks. I mean, it can make a difference on the scorecards. A little experience thing. He's fought higher guys, and, and he knows you can't win them all. how to control the fight a little better. Body, right? To the liver. And it's long. He's tall. He's got long legs. He controls. He takes one half step and shoot off. And he lets his hands go. Oh, good. Oh. Uppercut. That lead uppercut against the southpaw. Don't you see it? You know, he used to do that to right handers on southpaw. Is that Judah? Yeah. All right now, as you said, Paul, the boss so far in the, the ring general. Well, and, and, and for the optics to the judges, it really is a fight at this level. And then, Pistol's combination, obviously. He's winning the moments of Nacho Lopez. Later tonight, our co main event, Taz versus Alfredo. Welterweight. Yeah. Impression here on Pro Good job here of creating a step in the round. One thing about a uh, with, with Naj guy, even for a tall guy, a close range election as well. Stage really fundamental. He's got great fundamentals, good hand position. Oh, oh. nice uppercut through the center once again, holding on at the bell. As in the white, blue, and gold versus Steve. Sun. Both fighters under in this fight. Naji Lopez success punches, great uppercut. Something to try to test Lopez a little bit. You just gotta catch him. Yeah. Anyway, no one had to be first and dictate the pace. It's it's the thing you gotta you know how to you know you know how to where those overs so over kind of separate the top fighters from you know the pretender. Yeah, something's like he's winging that. Hit him with a shot. Now it's it's gonna take a consistent amount of work to win at a world class level. Goal for you to get to when you have that. You're gonna have to get through guys like this. So these are the testing fights where you really ask yourself, do I really have to set up shots? Peter Patton and boom. Not just being smart here. Being economical with his punches, making sure that they count. So, is he okay with just going the distance, risk getting knocked out, or try to win the fight and keep that on? As I said before, he, starting with to be a headache for Lopez, but covering up more than punching. And also, you have a front runner who has fought this entire fight, continuing to do it. 30 seconds left to go in round number four. See, right here, you got to look for the catch and shoot. If you're oh! As I was saying it. Coach Paul! About what the game plan seemed to be for Sumter. Well, there it is. As I was saying, and he, it's like he was in my head. Another good left hand. Couple good powerful punches. Oh, got got hit again. Hurt him again. Well, he, out there. he was doing that early. And that's how he set up the body shots. Got him you needed with the knockdown. Oh, you Lopez back in the corner. He went back there. There's so much time for Lopez. I think it is. Of course, Marvin Hatler among them. Rocky Marciano for their grit and determination. Oh, but kind of waiting for lightning to strike in these first four rounds. I see Lopez not coming. He's a little more careful. Oh. At range, at bay. The blood out of the mouth of Steve Sumter. Initiative. Tried to see if 
He's being a little bit more aware. See, that's why he's being aware. That if he was close as he was last round, that left hand would hit him again. Good uppercut on the inside from Lopez. He's staying as close as he was last round. Is that one? There's a little shooty adjustments after being hurt. Back in the driver's seat of this fight. A knockdown in round number four, but back in his comfort zone. Dominant. He's trying from the middle distance. No shots coming. Don't worry, coach. Oh, good body shot again. I mean, about this sector of Lopez knows how to use it. A little double left to just like double jabs. I wonder if there was a prop bet for a Sunday knockdown, as you know. <laughs> we talked about that. <laughs> it would have been a line. Into the odds in the beginning. Oh, yeah, good left hand. That's 4,000. Something showed up to win, man. Even with the Riyadh fights, now when you got no one's making competitive fights. Well, they've thrown off all over a living. <laughs> Our boxing odds makers. Corner on Steve Sumter. Remember the success in round too close, or you can be too far out yep. for Sumter to be effective. You know, oh, he's very good. He's shot short. Champion. Good evening. Nachi Lopez. And oh, taking on Steven Sumter. Oh, beautiful. He times. Knockdown for Nachi Lopez. Oh. oh. Because of combos just like that. Oh, Gumbo gets it in there real nice. As, as I said a few rounds ago, he understands that. Yeah, yeah, you break position with the fan for a lot of guys. I like Lopez, especially a guy with the speed of Lopez, can make that speed extra deadly. Oh, Sumter just looking for that one shot. Nice, nice angle. Yeah, I was going to say the words out of my mouth. Look at angle, Jake. Pauly, yeah, all you the see, way that hand. You see what he did? So, Sumter can't get too much leverage. Finding the punching of the ring here. And yeah, knows how to win the rest of the two fighters. Sumter. I was you know, yep. fighting the in-between stuff. He's got the highest level than the knockout. Okay, this is one of those, maybe, is when a good fighter doesn't use his jab. You don't want to the jab a little bit uh, against Southpaws. But when Lopez had, yeah, I agree with it. You know, good body actually, work, good uppercut. He came out with jamming pretty well. Yeah. He used and, a bit and, when he was in the corner. I need something needs to be deceptive on his entry. He, to get in his toes a little bit, box, set things up, hit the guys with shots they don't see like that. Well, getting knocked down will yeah. Yeah, remind you to get back. That's it. Ten rounds, but will he has eight in his ten wins so far. Tell Naji, Naji wants to stand. He could coast in this round. The blood from both men under the eye of Lopez from the, like you said, Jim, this is a sneaky competitive fight. Probably not going to show that on the scorecards. Oh, yeah. Inching there. He's got oh, good, good, good selection of a cut there. Yep. Lopez follows it up. The question is, you talk about the seconds left in the final round. Space up and cuts. But that's guys, I, I just think Lopez knows how to follow up a good shot landed with lands and have a good moment and he I think that's been the thing that has separated these two. This is, this is your night. Something seemed like he was on that way, and then he scores a knockdown. Oh beautiful He's combination. Hurt. He's hurt. Final 10 seconds of the final round. Why is low punch back? Something is not shooting back in between a couple of rounds ago that led to the knock knockdown. Despite the efforts of Lopez, this one will go the distance.